Alright. Welcome to Whitey White Guy Show. Marty. Gonna do a little vlogging, I guess. I made it. Our first real, like, winter storm, I guess. Uh, I'm in northern Illinois. We I don't know that we even got an inch of snow, but brother, it's cold. I think the wind chill, it's like negative 24 out there. Windy is all get out. That would be probably the wind chill. And, uh, I uh, loaded up. I did a video earlier. Oh, this is... <laughs> I don't even know how to suck out my pocket. That's from a little dude dead from work. <sighs> but, uh... So, I went to work. I left like 45 minutes early. Not a problem at all on the roads. Um, and then, throughout the shift, I'm looking out the window. Like, how much snow we got. I thought we were going to get snow. Guess I was wrong. We got wind and we got cold, and I've been looking at my beard, going, "Man, maybe it's time to trim that beard." No, it ain't. <laughs> this is organic scarf right here, man. This is the real McCoy. This saved my bacon today. Uh, but I took two bags of stuff. I had food. I had a blanket. I had uh, change of clothes, snow boots. And I thought, man, I'm really in for it. And it, I thought we were going to get a blizzard. I thought we were going to get a... I guess I didn't look. But it said whiteout conditions. On the way home, there's not a lot of snow, but it's blowing around all over the place out there. And there are times I couldn't see shit. If I didn't know those roads... I'm in the country. I went from a small city in civilization to the country. And uh, if I didn't know those roads by heart, man, I've been up and down them my whole life. I don't know that I, I wouldn't have ended up in the ditch or something, which would have been really fucking bad. Uh, but I made it home. I'm alive. I'm still alive. But is that the question? And if so, who answers? Who answers? So made it. Whitey's alive. And um, then I come home and I open up the fridge and realized I had some uh, OJ I forgot about. I'm like, yay! Because... <laughs> I took some Powerade and uh, put it in the car. It's frozen solid. Um, so, but the car ran, my little, little 2014 Ford Focus handled it like a champ. And uh, I did have my first fall of the season coming right out of work, going to my lunch. And I did a tuck and roll. And uh, I didn't have my gloves on because I was, I guess I was from my break. And I, for my lunch, every time I go to work, I work second shift, and the parking lot's packed. So I end up five, six rows packed, three, four rows, whatever the case. And then by the time I go take my, my lunch, most a lot of people have left. So I move up and I park in the front row, usually the closest spot. And uh, so I thought, I didn't even put on my gloves. I'm like, hey, it's, just, it's right there. You can see it from here. I fell down, got my hands in the snow, and in the next... 20 to 30 seconds before I'm in my car, I damn near had frostbite because that's the how bad the wind chill was. Um, because my hands were wet from the snow, and I was just like, fuck, that was like that was miserable. And then I was I'm still getting over this gastrointestinal flu bug or whatever that's going around, so I just I felt I was I was muscle through the shift, but I felt lousy the whole shift. Um, and then a, a buddy of mine. Uh, was standing at the nurse's station, Austin, if you ever watch this, buddy. Um, and I went up to him. He was talking about, I forget what triggered the moment, I suppose. He said, well, I had to clean or something. And I, I'm a housekeeper. I've done janitorial job and cleaning different places for years. And I went up to him as a joke. And I was like, man, I've had to clean shit you wouldn't believe, man. And he just like, okay, okay. And he's like, I had to clean a dead body off the railroad tracks and I had to put intestines in a bag and all stuff. I'm like, really? And then I said, one of the dumbest things I've said in a while is because my dad was on the railroad for 38 years and he talked about the same stuff, finding dead bodies, not cleaning them up. You call the cops and who do they send them for? And so I was like working on the railroad and then I was like on the railroad, which he thought was... He's like, yeah. And I'm like, no, I mean, not like you were on the railroad tracks, but who are you working for? You know, I was a firefighter. I was like, oh, and he's uh, a young looking dude. I think he's 
you know, 19, 20, 22 years old, maybe. He's got to be a little bit older because he's been on the fire department for a while. Now he's a, a nurse or paramedic slash nurse kind of thing. Um, but it was... Um, so right at the end of the shift, I get I clock out, I clock in at three two fifty three. So I clock out. The shift ends at eleven thirty, but it clock in seven minutes early. So I clock out seven minutes early. So I clock out eleven twenty three. It's like eleven o two, and one of the patients are coming back, and it's like the the bathroom the on the right, and something, and I didn't catch it. And then finally, somebody said. Um, the Hawk was like, oh, let the third shift guy deal with it to somebody else. So I'm like, what is it? So I go back there, and my buddy Austin's sitting there at reception, and I open the door to the bathroom uh, by the lobby, and it, I just got this. I was like, oh, my God. So somebody threw up all over the floor. I ended up cleaning up, which wasn't a too big a deal, but I was laughing. I went over to Austin. I'm like, dude, weren't we just talking about this? <laughs> cleaning up nasty shit in our jobs? So that was right at the end of the shift. And oh, and I, so I went up to him like, we got to find out who threw up because they have like five minutes to live. Like, it was it, the, the, the stank. I've cleaned up no short. I, I worked at a, a, a Catholic school for uh, pre-K to eighth grade uh, as a janitor, a Juanita. And it was the year of vomit. Like, they were all throwing up constantly. I've cleaned up a lot of puke in my time, and I've dealt with a lot of blood, urine, feces, oceans of pee, but this was nasty. So it's like, it just, when it rains, it freaking pours, and of course it was the last five minutes of the shift, but I got her done, I got out of there, driving home was treachery, man, that wind was like, I, I couldn't see at times. There was so much snow blowing around, and there's hardly any snow on the ground, but what's there is blowing all over the place. And so I was like, I had, you know, couldn't see shit for three, four seconds at a time. I nodded off like 12 times. You know, I kept falling asleep in the middle of the uh, which is terrifying. Because, again, I'm, an, I'm out in the middle of a country road in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Ain't nobody coming through. Ain't nobody, nobody's going to come across me. If, if the engine dies, I die. And I've got two cigarettes left to my name, and I am not going all the way to... I'm not going to name the town to get a pack of smoke. So I should have done that before I came home. And it was so cold. I just want to get back. So it was, that was some treachery, but old Whitey made it. 